Here we're going to talk about a second uh, general method. We talked about the Hartree-Fox self-consistent field method of solving the Schrodinger equation. Uh, here's another method in the DFT method with which uh, stands for density functional theory. In this method what you do is you describe the electron density uh, rather than individual elect, uh, orbitals or individual wave functions you take the electron density the square of the wave function of the entire molecule. So now it's um, electron density and the electron density uh, is or actually energy is a function of the electron density and the electron density is a function of the spatial coordinates so uh, it's a function of a function which is called functional, functional, and so density functional theory means a function of a function. So the idea is you describe somehow the electron density and then you vary the electron density so you minimize the energy. It's a, uh, slight, it's a different technique. However, you still have to specify the electron density. Uh, you don't know what it is. And so typically you do, as in the Hartree-Fock uh, SCF method, you take the electron density of some linear combination of basis set functions. And usually these are Gaussian functions. Or if you're working with solids, they would be plane waves. All right, so that's the whole idea of density functional theory. You have electron density which you then vary with various parameters in, until you get a minimum in energy and that minimum in energy will give you the electron density. Now there are um, uh, you know you're still using Gaussian functions to describe the electron density so it's uh, not all that as different. However uh, let's nonetheless go ahead and do that so let's um, use hyperchem. Here's our helium atom that we had uh, from the Hartree-Fox self-consistent field method and now we're going to do a density functional theory uh, calculation, a DFT calculation using the same basis set, the same set of Gaussian functions to re uh, represent the wave functions and we'll then now uh, compute single point and here it goes. So now it's computing I feel like singing the theme to Jeopardy. Da, 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 da. Okay, and maybe you can see this if you have uh, good eyes. It's uh, the energy here is minus one point uh, one uh, one eight one nine kilocalorie per mole, which we then translate into um, uh, joule per molecule. So we have the energy, the energy of the helium atom calculated by, by DFT, density functional theory, um, converted into joule per molecule is minus 1.264 times 10 to the minus 17th joule. And again, the exact was there. So now we've had um, four ways of uh, estimating the energy of the helium atom, the electrons in the helium atom. First we did, um, uh, what did we do, uh, perturbation. perturbation series. So the first order perturbation we got the energy of the uh, helium, the electrons in the helium atom to be 1.198 times 10 to the minus 17th joule. We then went to a variation method and our energy there that we got uh, using where we had effective nuclear charge as the variation parameter we got 1.241 times 10 to the minus 17th joule. We then did a Hartree-Fock self-consistent field calculation. The energy there we got was minus 1.245 times 10 to the minus 17th joule. We just did this DFT calculation and we got minus 1.264 times 10 to the minus 17th joule and the exact from experiment is minus 1.266 times 10 to the minus 17th. So we see computational chemistry can get very close to the true value. The best here was uh, DFT, the density functional theory, uh, which we'll talk a little bit more about when you talk about molecules, but that's actually very close. It's only two parts in 1200 or less than 1% from the exact.
And the advantage of these last two ways of calculating is you use a computer program. I did these calculations on my uh, sort of netbook that's about five, six years old, that has an old fashioned atom processor, and that was done within a few seconds. So there you go. Uh, maybe computational chemistry is the way to go.